Well, now to a disturbing case of a babysitter under investigation for allegedly hitting an infant. The baby's mother talked with 10 on your side, and we want to warn you some of the images that you can see here are pretty hard to watch. Penny your size, Aisha Tolliver sat down with her and talked to police. Aisha. Well, Harper's parents are practically horrified after they were called to their babysitter's home and found their five-month-old baby practically purple from bruising. Now, they say they don't know exactly what happened to their baby, Harper, as the sitter's given two different versions of the story. But what they do know, they want justice. Brianna Palmer's five-month-old baby girl's face is swollen and covered in fresh bruises. And Palmer claims her babysitter is responsible. The only explanation I got was through that Facebook message when she said I was trying to spank her son. She said she was trying to spank her son and I accidentally hit Harper in the face. The babysitter told Palmer she needed to pick her up as soon as she could yesterday evening. What she saw when she got there left her speechless. When I walked in, I, my heart like sank. I mean, her face was swollen, her eye was swollen almost shut. She already had a giant bruise on the side of her head. Um, so I really, I didn't do much talking with her. Um, I just kind of got Harper. Without saying much, Palmer rushed her baby to CHKD's ER and called the cops. Police say detectives from the Special Crimes Unit were contacted by Child Protective Services about the injuries found on the baby during the ER visit. Officials couldn't give a lot of details since it's an active investigation, but did confirm it happened here at the sitter's home while the baby was in her custody. But Palmer says she doesn't buy the sitter's story, especially after another version surfaced. Here's a screenshot of a social media message from the sitter saying she meant to punch the couch, but admits it landed on Harper instead. I knocked on the door to see if she'd comment, but no one answered. Palmer says she wants this story to be a warning for other parents. Just because somebody's military affiliated, just because they come with references, just because they have experience, it doesn't make them safe. Earlier today, Palmer and her husband were here at the Child Abuse Center. They were meeting with a specialist to kind of figure out what happened, if they could, and what charges they need to press. Um, officials say no criminal charges have been filed yet, but they will update us if that changes. In Norfolk, I'm Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.